right, we're back here in the garden. Three weeks, 21 days after I put the seed in the ground. And you can see how things are doing. This was the radishes. I promised you uh, 20 days, I think, when we, uh, when we, the day we put this in the ground. And here it is, 21 days later, and we'll see. I have to say, you can see right here, hopefully you can see, I've got my, my soaker hose in there. That's really important if you're gonna do fall gardening, make sure you have that. And I used that right away. Everything sprung out of the ground like I thought it would. And then I was gone for a week and they didn't get watered for a week. So they might be a little bit behind, but you can see they have really grown. And here, I'll just go in here and pull one and see what we get. Oh, well, not bad for 21 days. This particular variety is, is a champion, so you could eat that, no problem. Uh, I'm sure the majority of these will uh, be a little nicer, a little bigger in another week or so, but uh, 21 days from the day I put the seed in the ground. Next here, I put out a little bit of lettuce. Uh, what you can't really tell is that I thinned all of these, and a lettuce, you can tell I thinned it. You want them four or five inches apart. The lettuce really doesn't like this heat too much, but if I keep it watered, I think I'll be okay. This is bok choy here. And you can see if you can get in close there that we've got flea beetle damage. All those little little peck holes there are from little black flea beetles. And unless it gets worse, I won't do anything about it because a little later in the season, the flea beetles will go away. If it gets worse, I might have to spray some rotenone or something on there. Here's a red titan, my, my favorite red beet. Those were just planted three weeks ago. These would be ready in this fall without any without any problem. Here is a variegated curled Scotch kale, and I just put out a little bit of it, but it's it was too early really, and the insects have been hard on it, and it doesn't really like the heat, so that was sort of a failed experiment. Here's a, a red bunching onions; those are coming along, and they'll be they'll be ready in a couple of months. And over here, I just took a chance and put out some peas. I actually put them out. July 9th is really too early for peas. But I did it, and we'll see what happens. They're not liking it a whole lot. It's, they just don't like that heat. But they look like they might make a crop. It really is a good example of just how quickly, when the soil is warm and the temperatures are warm, things will jump out of the ground. This is Jackson Wonder. It's a really kind of a fun uh, dried bean like a lima bean to grow and this here is phenomenal that's the name of it it's a southern pea or a cow pea you can see some bean leaf bean bat uh, uh, bean beetle damage uh, but it's not too bad so I won't do do anything about it <laughs> 